If you have someone that can uplift you when you're feeling down, that's great. But there are times when you need to encourage yourself. We're going to talk about that. But first, if this is your first time visiting this channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe and don't forget to touch that bell so that you will know when new videos are available. Hi everyone. Welcome to Mana for Thought. How do you encourage yourself when you're feeling down and when you're feeling like a failure and nothing is going your way? Today we're going to look at David and how he encouraged himself in a depressive state. Psalm 42, which is attributed to King David, verse 5 says this, Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. In scripture, to be cast down means to be grieved, and to be disquieted means to be agitated or disturbed in the mind to be troubled. And David was troubled. The things you say to yourself matters more than you can imagine. Because positive words are difficult to remember, but negative ones are more difficult to forget. Our actions are inspired by our thoughts or the way we talk to ourselves. If we can change the way we think, we can begin to change the actions we take. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, David was distressed, worried, and afraid. His life was being threatened. But in that same scripture, David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. But how did he do that? What did that look like? Here, David was deeply troubled. He lost everything. His family was taken captive and his friends turned against him. They even spoke of stoning him. But he didn't give up. Even though he felt like he wanted to. Instead, he encouraged himself by engaging in what we call today motivational self-talk. He used his words to build his faith. He didn't want to remain in that negative, depressive state he was in. So he was talking himself out of the state of despondency, loss of hope, faith, and courage. He paused from the painful reality of what was happening in his life to challenge his own soul, his mind. He did not surrender to his feelings of depression and discouragement. Instead, he challenged himself and brought them before God. This was the strength of the living God making itself real in the life and heart of a man that was hurting. This was strength for brokenness, and repentance, strength for determination to win back what the enemy had stolen. You should use your voice to build your faith, not talk down to yourself. When we talk to ourselves, we're trying to see things more objectively. It's not about narcissism or deceiving ourselves into thinking things are not what they seem. It's more about showing yourself some self-compassion. There are different ways in which we can cope with being in a depressive state. We can talk to a friend, a professional, or a therapist. But David decided to bring his feelings before God. He said to those cast down and disquieted feelings, hope in God, he will come through for you. I want to encourage you right now to hope in the Lord because he will see you through anything you may go through. In seeking God's countenance, David understood that the answers were not within himself, but in the living God. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7 through 9 says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despaired. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. We are 
the earthen vessels into which the glorious truth of the gospel of God has poured, causing our mortal bodies to become the temple of the Holy Ghost, the treasure within. Because we carry this treasure, we are not crushed, driven to despair, but not forsaken nor destroyed. We may be knocked down, but we are never knocked out. David understood that our strength comes from God's sustaining power and not from ourselves because we are just the vessel that carries the power. When you know the provisions of God, no matter how many times you are knocked down, you cannot be defeated unless you give up. Life will happen and we will meet difficulties, but allow God's sustaining power to uplift you. I'm Alison Cornelius.